Hello and welcome back to another how to Django tutorial here working on our, bla our blog application. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up the uh, Django admin site. And this is going to be a basic overview of the admin site. Basically, with all my clients, I normally build them a um, custom admin portion of the website. And the reason I do this is for security and peace of mind, basically. Uh, uh, the admin site in Django gives users a lot of power to change things in the site. Now, um, that's good if you have someone that you want to dedicate one or two people to manage. But everyday employees and uh, users you don't want them to be accessing the back end of the site because you can create users you can delete things and all, all types of stuff so I tend to build a custom admin site so in today's tutorial like I said we're gonna take a look at setting up the admin site a couple different ways to modify the admin site but we're not gonna spend all that much time on it it's a great tool in development to create objects but for now um, we basically just want to configure it so we can access it and create a couple categories and a couple of blog posts. Um, and then down the line in a couple of tutorials, we'll actually build a backend admin for our Django project. So let's go ahead and uh, open up your admin.py file. All right. <clears throat> in here, we need to uh, get access to our models. And the way we do that is by going from dot models import category and post all right so we have a category table and a post table they're both classes so that's how we get access to them all right we can get rid of this comment here all right so the easiest and most efficient way to get access to the tables via the admin in django is by easily or just hooking into the table. So we're going to do admin.site.register like this, and we're going to say category. All right, then we're going to do the same thing admin.site.register post. All right, now this is going to give us default settings in uh, the way Django and their developers set up the admin site but we do have access to our tables now. For us to go ahead and access our tables though, first thing we need to do is create a super user. And a super user is like the overall admin, all right? They have power to do anything with the site and we need to create one of them to have access back there. Now you can create other um, authentication categories, if you will. Um, for example, like an employee, they can have a different authentication, what they can and what they can't do in the back end. But uh, for now, we're just going to create a super user. And the way to do that is to uh, input a command, python manage.py create super user. All right. And now it's going to ask you for a username once my computer goes here. And we're going to put in, uh, I'm just going to put admin and then put in your email address, whatever that may be. And it's going to ask you for a password, put in your password. Now it could be whatever you want it to be. I mean, this is only setting it up for, um, on your development on your computer, basically. All right. We will, you will have to do the same thing when you, upload it to a server as well all right so uh, we set that up now let's go ahead and open up our admin page let me uh, get rid of some of the stuff in my browser here all right here's our here's our uh, well actually we need to run the server so we'll do python manage.py run server Oops, server like that And that's going to take a second to run. But how we access the admin is going to be forward slash admin. All right. And it's going to ask us to log in. And it's going to be your username and your password that you put in. 
Now, I don't know if I put the same password that is saved in here, so we'll go ahead and just edit a new password. And we'll update the password. All right, so <clears throat> here's the basic overlay interface of the admin site in Django. All right, so we used admin.site.register and put in our tables, which were category and post. Notice that they made them plural here, by category and post that's not the proper way to spell categories but you can change that if you'd like um, so now we have access to our actual um, table and we can actually create things in here so let's say we have a category called Python the description is this is Python tutorials all right then we can put SEO title we can say Python 3 tutorials and we can say uh, this is the Python tutorial section of our site. And then here um, we got a slug. All right. We don't want to add the slug, but it's going to require us to because it's a required field. Remember, we set up in the back end that, um, that we don't that we were creating the slug on our own. When we save this model, it's going to create the slug for us. Technically, I believe it overrides it. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to put Python in there for a second. And we're going to modify this so we're not showing slug again. All right. So that's how we create a um, um, object in the back end. So if we go to categories now, you'll see we got category and we have Python. That's pretty cool, right? Let's go just create a real quick blog post as well. So we have some data to work with back here and modify what it looks like. So I'm just going to say uh, intro to Python. Um, this is uh, intro. doesn't matter what the heck you put in here. We'll say Python. All right. And then SEO title. And then SEO description. Script. I don't feel like typing it all out. And then we say intro to Python. All right. And it's a draft, and we'll just save it. All right. And there we go. Now we have that displayed to us. So let's go ahead and modify what it looks like to us back here. And also, we want to remove the slug field that's in here because we don't want to actually modify that. We want to let our models go ahead and modify that. So let's just go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and open up our um, text editor. Uh, the way we modify the look and feel of our uh, admin site in the back end is we create a subclass and that subclass is of model admin, all right? So I'm just gonna hit enter here and I'm gonna create a subclass here and we're gonna call we're going to create a class and the naming convention normally is name of the category then admin afterwards so in this case it would be category admin all right and then it's going to take uh admin dot model admin like that all right and we're just going to uh, put a field in here exclude and it's going to take a tuple and we're going to put slug just like that uh, then we need a comment here because it's a tuple and I'm just going to hit enter here and the way we hook in or register the category admin is by adding it to the admin.site.register so we'll do category uh, admin all right like that and we'll come back in to our browser and we'll go to blog and my server, of course, is taking a second to catch up. There we go. And if we go to categories and then go to Python, you'll notice the slug is now gone. That's pretty cool, right? So with like one simple line of code, we're able to modify the look and feel. All right. Um, let's go ahead and do the same exact thing for our blog post because like I said we don't want that in there so class and we're gonna do post admin is admin dot model admin alright and then we're just gonna exclude 
slug and pick a comma because it's a tuple. All right, cool. So there we go. We've excluded that field from being in the forms in the back end. Very simple. All right. Now I'm just going to stick with the post admin for the next couple. And basically what we're going to do is just modify what the list looks like. And the list would be, um, if I go back to blog and wait for my server to catch up. It's being super slow today. There we go. Um, refresh this and I go to post we kind of want to modify what this looks like and this is probably the most modifications I would imagine you're going to use it for so we got post that's our title and where is that coming from you may be asking is where we set it down here we we set this method here to display the object's title all right that's where this is coming from so if I change this to uh, category like that and then title and go back in and wait for my server to catch up. I'm up. All right, so my server caught up and I'm just going to refresh here and you see I got Python. All right. So basically that's where it's coming from. So let's just go back, go back and change this back so we don't uh, forget about it here. All right. So we're displaying the title of our object, but we want to display other things. Uh, for example, maybe we want to display, um, let's see here, let's display uh, the slug, uh, the title, the created time, and the updated time. How would we do something like that? So we go back into admin, and under exclude it, we're going to put in um, list display, all right? And inside the tuple, we're going to have title, whoops, um, what did I say, title, uh, let's do status. Let's do uh, category. Let's do create it. Oops, this should be in a string. Create it and update it. And that should be in a string as well. Update it. All right. <clears throat> so now we are going to go ahead and check this out. All right, my server called up. We'll go ahead and refresh on this page. I did do that in post, right? Oh, well, we have to hook in our admin here. So we'll do post admin. I was wondering why that didn't work. There we go. All right, let's go back. All right, so my server caught back up with us and let's refresh. All right, so there we go. We got our title. We got our status, we got our category, we got the created time, and the updated time. Cool. All right, so <clears throat> how about if we want to, um, you know, filter our choices here? Say we would just wanted to get the draft status or the Python category. Well, guess what? That is already set up for us by the uh, Django developers. So what we can do is we can just do list underscore filter is equal to a tuple. And what fields do we want to um, to display? Now filter, you can use char field, boolean field, date field, date time field, integer field, foreign key, many, many field. So you got a lot of options here. Uh, I'm just gonna use status and category um, for now. So we'll do status. And then category, and don't forget your comma, and we'll go back and open up our page. So if we go ahead and refresh here, now we got a filter over here, okay? Uh, we got published, we got draft. So if we click on draft, it's going to show our draft. If we click on published, well, we don't have any published, so it's not going to display any of those. And then we got all, which lists all the fields. Um, so category did not work there, and I thought it was going to. Oh, interesting. All right, so we'll just take category out for now, and I'll look into why that didn't work. I thought it did. All right, <clears throat> how about 
how about a search feature in the back end of the admin well we can do that as well um, so let's go ahead and add search fields and we're gonna search certain fields now this takes like a text field like a char field or a text field if you will um, so we're gonna use title and body so we'll put title and body all right so we'll go ahead and save that and go back and open it up so all right so hit refresh and now you got a little search box up here and we can search for something so I'll put it in Python and it's gonna it's gonna search through the title and it's gonna search through the body of the uh, post and return to us um, any portion of text in either one of them that uh, has Python in it notice it returned us intro to Python now if I put dog if I put dog uh, none are going to come back so we didn't put dog in title or um, in the body of the post so that's the basics of modifying admin um, if you want more features like I could spend days on working with just the admin itself uh, check out Django they have hundreds of uh, features that you can modify the back end also like I said we're gonna build our own back end and um, that way our employees if you will uh, will have a way to modify create delete all our objects so um, we'll set up our own and you guys will learn a lot by doing that on your own so I'll see you in the next tutorial